for real, like straight up, it's just, that's, it's all on you, Ahmed. But coming here, I'm gonna tell you, when you're here in this class, you got other people that are gonna hold you accountable that wanna see you win. We wanna see you win. We don't wanna see you give up. You know, I know you say you don't got family here, but that's what this class is about. It's not just a class. Like, what we're building is community. Yo, so today we just finished our MOVE class. Um, and right now we have some volunteers here, some of the tribe members. We got some of the uh, clients from the Recovery Center helping out, volunteering. We're transforming this vacant lot into the first fitness playground for this neighborhood, East Garfield Park. It's exciting. It's a little scary because there's a lot of work involved in what we're doing right here. We're trying to take something that people have given up on, just land that was full of weeds and broken bottles and all types of garbage and debris. And we're trying to transform this into a beautiful space that people want to come in and spend time in and heal their bodies at. So, uh, you know, we, we're digging up a lot of gravel. I'm just happy to have the tribe here, happy to have uh, Sarah, Janelle, all types of people coming out just to help uh, with this project. I love teaching, I love coaching people, but as a coach, you know, we do hear a lot of, a lot of stories and you hear a lot of the, the issues people are having are going through physically, mentally, emotionally. And it is, it does weigh heavy on me because I do take a lot of it to heart and I do really care about helping people. Did you build this? No, oh, okay. not this. I heard you we're, stuff. So we're going to be building the first fitness playground for this neighborhood, and it's right here at the Above and Beyond Community Garden. I can I can I tell you? Can I can I just say that like coming here, I didn't know what to expect. Okay. Walked in. There's flamenco music playing. It smelled good. There was nice art on the wall. It was like this is not what I expected for like recovery. I was expecting white walls and everybody yep. looking robotic and. Mm -hmm. And this place is the energy that I got greeted when I first walked in. And it's just, it's just such a good energy and it's such a good feeling. And I knew that like, man, I want to be a part of this, whatever it is. Then I met Dan and Dan, the director, he, oh, he, and he believed in me. So I'm like, hey, if he's crazy enough to believe in my crazy, <laughs> my... I don't think you're crazy at all because they needed it and uh, I tell you the, uh, the response we've never seen I have well, I'm going to say I haven't seen these individuals as enthused about activity sweating exercise usually it's like walking to yeah. Kedzie no can I get a bus pass I'm like well it sits down the street but now they're like no I brought my exercise clothes I know I'm yes. going to sweat and For real? Into it. Yes. wow I love it. yo so yo that's awesome doing. that's awesome what I'm supposed to do now. Name? Name is Terrence. Do you have any nicknames? Westside. Westside. Terrence Westside. All right. And what's your What's your goal? My goal is to get my memory back. Get your memory back. All right. I was in a coma two months. You were in a coma two it months. Took three years to learn how to walk and talk all over. Wow. I'm, I'm from Egypt, from Africa, Egypt. And uh, I come to Chicago visit and I got a car accident. I was in a coma. Uh, I was dead in the car accident. They say I was dead, and uh, and they went to the hospital. I was, my heart was still working, my stomach, everything was out, and my shoes, everything broken. I only have one lungs now. Uh, I went to the doctor yesterday, and they tell me they have to cut my leg from here. So they have to cut my leg because if they don't cut it, if they don't cut it, it's gonna affect the bones. So they not just cut, they saying so cut it off, amp amputate. Yeah. One or both? No, one or one. Yeah. Yeah. When did you do that? Right. Wow. And, uh, you know, I started being depressing, you know. One of the things we do, we don't even like analyze it, smoking. Smoking is very bad for your bone. It doesn't make your body heal. 
So I never listened to that before, you know. I've been smoking for 22 years. I smoked 22 started, years? I've been started smoking when I was 80 years old. You know, in Egypt, you don't have age to buy a cigarette. If wow. you have money, you can buy a cigarette. You can buy whatever you want. And uh, so I told the doctor, you know, I start crying and I told the doctor, you know, I need help. Like, you know, it cannot take my leg. I'm 29 years old. I'm about to be 30, August 16. I kept everything inside of me and everything is starting to be like a disease for me. Eat me inside, mm -hmm. you know, and I almost gave up on myself. I was like, what is the reason to be alive if you're not alive, you know? And uh, thank God, I, I don't know, I woke up one day in the morning and and uh, some guy, he flew back for me and he told me come to this place, you know, and I meet great people like him, you know, and he really gave me a hope tomorrow is going to be better. I'm glad that he took this step and like came to this class even though move he's you know he he really can't do much right now but it's not about what you can't do it's about what you can and the fact that he's trying he's he didn't give up hope and he knows that he's you don't have much time because the doctor told you he has to, it's urgent right now so that's that's like if that's not a wake-up call that you need to stop smoking you need to take it seriously your re recovery seriously because nobody is going to help you but you the doctor is just going to tell you if you don't want to do it, you're going to get the surgery, you know? The doctor is not going to take you by the hand and make you, force you to do the rehab, force you to stop smoking. That's up to you. And like, for real, like straight up, it's just, that's, it's all on you, Ahmed. But coming here, I'm going to tell you, when you're here in this class, you got other people that are going to hold you accountable that want to see you win. We want to see you win. We don't want to see you give up. You know, I know you say you don't got family here, but that's what this class is about. It's not just a class. Like what we're building is community. You know, we're building some bars here. We're gonna have a place where you can come and get a full workout in, train your leg and get your, your whole body, you know, to an optimal level. But you have to do it. You have to show up. You have to make the decision. I'm not gonna smoke. I'm not gonna do the things that are going are gonna affect my healing. You know? And for me, like I feel like you're already doing it, you're taking the steps, and I want you to keep coming back. All right, y'all ready to move? You know, we gotta get the music going. Keep going. You grabbing some, you grabbing some weight over here. We do it in the garden, in the fitness garden. Sometimes we, as individuals, we can't find the strength, right? Or we just need a little extra. You need that person to hold you accountable. And I feel like we all can do that for each other. Because we all have goals and we all are working towards something better. Whether it's just self-improvement, whether it's something physical. See, this group is not just you come and go. For me, this is like a family. We like a tribe. 